Hi, my name is Paul, and this is why I have joy. When I was a kid, I was always the one that was uh, happy, joking around, all that stuff. But really, in the inside, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't all that happy. So I would be the class clown. I was always making jokes at, at Thanksgiving, family outings, and I uh, always had a smile on my face. Um, but really, there was a lot of things going on in my family, a lot of things that I was dealing with that just, um, just didn't make me a very happy kid. I was very depressed and angry inside. So uh, my, uh, my parents got divorced when I was uh, two and uh, didn't really remember them together. And um, as a kid in, in divorce, sometimes you choose a parent. And so I chose my dad and I uh, didn't get to see my dad a lot, but I had more fun with him. And um, it was a bad thing to do, but as a kid, I did choose and I chose my dad. So when I was uh, uh, 12, I had a really good relationship with my dad. I had a really good relationship with my mom, but uh, really prized, overemphasized that relationship with my father. And uh, my dad um, passed away when I was 12. And that just really kind of, that was the thing that kind of shattered, I guess you'd say, um, my life. So uh, with that, when my dad passed away, um, everything else just seemed to get worse. You know, we were poor. Um, you know, we, we had everybody who's got dysfunction in their family, you know, and all those different things were highlighted. All the yelling, all the everything. I mean, I have a great family who loves me, but I'd say that, that moment is when everything I looked at just got worse. And I really didn't feel like I, like I had something to live for. Like I, had, I had something enjoyable in my life. Uh, but everything kind of started to change. I was um, hanging out with this guy who's my basketball coach kind of became my, uh, my mentor and just hung out with me, you know, bought me clothes, bought me food, just so it was a cool guy who just wanted to take care of a kid who didn't have a lot. And this guy was a Christian. He started telling me about Jesus, started inviting me to church. And uh, he was probably, he was the reason my life really got better. And the thing that made this guy different um, was he loved Jesus. He went to church. And he, he would tell me all these stories about God and about my relationship with God, stuff like that. I didn't believe in God. I didn't, I didn't like God. I, I thought God existed, but I thought God did a terrible job with my life. God took my father. God ruined my family. You know, God made me poor. God, you know, I, I just felt like God had abandoned me. But this God that, that my coach was talking about was a God of love and compassion. And, and, um, and that's what he would tell me. So after having some conversations with, uh, with Bobby, my coach, I realized like I needed God's forgiveness. I had broken God's rules and I, I lied, I lusted, I got angry. I mean, if God were to judge me based off the Ten Commandments, like I would be guilty. And that's what Bobby told me, is that I would be guilty before God. So Bobby told me I needed this forgiveness and that God had provided that forgiveness. He'd given me that forgiveness and the way He gave it was through Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ lived a perfect life. He was 100% man, 100% God, and He died on the cross to pay my penalty. To, to take on my guilt. So all the things that I had done, all the rules that I had broken, God took all those off of me and put them on Jesus Christ on the cross. And if I trusted in that as the only means of forgiveness that I could be right with God. So I remember that day, April 4th, 1997, was the day I trusted in Jesus Christ as my only means of forgiveness to be right with God. I believed that Jesus died for my sins and rose from the grave. And that moment changed my life forever. So that, that day changed everything. I remember just having a, a better attitude about life. I felt like I had a father, a heavenly father who loved me. Even though my, my dad was not there, I had a God who would take care of me, who, who cared about me, and who had a plan for my life. My whole life has been dedicated to just telling people this story, that Jesus can change your life. He can, he can give you hope. And no matter, no matter what your problems are, and those problems are caused by disobeying God, by sin, it's caused by our sin, that God can can fix that mess. Whatever your life is in, whether it be from divorce, depression, anger, whatever it is, those, those are maybe my hang-ups, but God can solve those things. And the most important thing He could do is He can give you a right relationship with Him through His Son, Jesus Christ. And so now my life is basically telling that story. I tell it to youth, the junior hires, high schoolers, and I've given my life to just do that. So this is why I'm making this video, to share this story with you, because I think it's the most important story of my life. And we're friends, and I really feel like this story could change your life too. And I'm not here to make you believe something that you don't or force you into something that you don't want to believe. I'm not here to do that or push anything on you. I just want to share what's changed my life and I think it could change your life too. So if you ever have a question or anything, feel free to just touch base with me. 
And uh, I hope this story changes you like it changed me.